All right, so I want to show you how to um, use your account as a medical doctor. So what you do is that maybe after we have reset your password and you go to your email and you see your username and password, the next thing is to copy your username and password and come to our virtual doctor's page here to log in. So what you do is you go look at this menu at the side, those three lines, then you click on doctor, it's a drop down, then you click on doctor login. So when you click on doctor login, you will see the page where you need to log in. And you enter your username or email and password. Login. Okay, you can see username or email. So let me enter my email for this purpose. Let me enter my email. So this is a doctor's email for demo. Yeah, you know your password, so, sorry, your username contains some strings which you may not be able to remember. So if you cannot remember your username easily, that is not a problem. You can use email to register to log in rather so i will enter my password you can click on rem remember me which means the next time you are logging in your in your login details have been reg uh, has been saved so you click on login sorry about that click on login still loading and as you can see I'm using phone you can also use your laptop to also do the same thing okay so we are logging in now to the telemedicine dashboard so I'm there right I'm there, so you will see details. The patient, uh, the, the total patient, maybe that have attended to the appointment and other details, you will see them here, right? So the next thing you uh, you first do, if you if we just reset your password, is you click on this image, this medical doctor icon at the top right hand side, you click on it. When you click on it, you see change password. So that password, you know, is a string, a, a mixture of numbers and letters that you cannot remember. So you need to change your password to, um, you need to change your password to the number, to, to a password that you can remember from here. So you click on change password and you enter that old password and the new password you want to change, you, you want to change to, you enter it there. Also, another thing you need to do is to go to my profile and update my and update your doctor profile okay we put in some default uh, profile there like your name your email address your phone number so you need to update the other aspect like date of birth okay i think we updated this then your specialization your specialization you need to add your specialization maybe if they are not complete based on the the one that we have entered for you right you need to update that your specialization. Sorry about this. Then um, you can leave signature empty. Then your address, all this, all this you enter, right? Qualification, university, yes. All these ones you enter and you save as soon as you do that. Also, you can update your your profile, like picture. You can upload your picture here. So as soon as you do all that, you will save it. You click on save, it will save. So it means you are done with that. So the next thing you do is you click on these three lines at this end. Then one of the things you do is that you need to update your services, right? You need to update your services. 
So click on services. So when you click on services, for example, you can see this service. Okay, let me demonstrate. Add service. So if you want to add a service, you click on add service. It's, so it is it has loaded. So under this service category, you you will select service category. So we have some that we have inputted there. You can search for it or you scroll on it. So for example, I want to do general consultation. That is, that is general practitioner. Okay. I select that, then service name. You can give it a name. For example, uh, for example, let me let me just say uh, family family medicine. For example, you enter that, then the charge. So the charge here for all the general um, the, the service charge. The, the patient is going to pay for all these general services. For general services like this, it is 1,750 Naira. So for this one, you enter 1,750 Naira. For specialized services like emergency, like uh, gynecology and others, it's 2,100 Naira. Okay? So for this one, I'm entering 1,000. 1,750 Naira. You leave that active. Then you say allow multiple selection Y booking. Yes, you can allow that. You can say yes to that. You can, if you have image for this service, you can also upload, but you can leave that blank and you click on save. As soon as, soon as you click on save, it will save under you, right? So these different services that you have are the services that patient will see that will be visible to patient to book with you. So the ones you did not add here on that service, patient will not be able to see it. You understand? So for example here, I added for this particular uh, doctor's account, I added um, general specialization. I added nephrology. I added, uh, I added gastroenterology. I added gynecology. So for this, for this particular doctor, it's all these services that patients will see for this doctor. So you need to update your own so that you'll be visible. So after you do that, for all your services, and you are okay, you can check them here to be sure that they are correct. So the next thing you do is your encounters. Okay, let me click on settings. There's an aspect where you have doctor section. Yes, so you click on settings, right? Let me go back there. You come here, you click on settings. So your doctor session is where you as a doctor, you, um, for example, maybe you'll be available on Tuesday between 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. This is where you enter it, doctor session. So it's the session that you enter that the patient will be able to see. So if patients come and say they want to see, see a doctor at 11 on Tuesday, for example, and that is what you that's part of what you enter, they will be able to see you. If you did not enter that time, that particular time that that patient is looking for, that want to book appointment, they won't be able to see you, but they will be able to see any other doctor that has that time. So if you have more time, it means you have to enter a longer time. So when you click on settings, to enter doctor session, you click on settings, then So you click on settings, then you click on add section, this plus doctor section, that is add doctor section. So you click on, on it, you want to add. So our time slot is between five to 15 minutes. Time slot means the time that you are consulting for the patient. So it could be as low as five minutes, but much more of 15 minutes. That is one consultation, right? So within that time, within 15 minutes, you should be able to do whatever you are, like the consultation you are doing for the patient. You don't want to waste much time with the patient, right? So let's change this one to 15 minutes. 
So when you are changing your own, you change it to 15 minutes, right? This is morning section. So for morning section, you click on it. What time am I, am I available in the morning? The starting time, let me say, I will be available from 8 a.m. 8, for example, 8.05. It has entered that. Then you click somewhere so that it's, it will record that. Then end time in the morning, let me say 11. 11 a.m. 11 a.m. Let me see, 11.35 a.m. You click another place. So it means in the morning, I will be available on uh, at 11, at 8.05 to 11.35. And in the evening, I will be available, if I will be available in the evening, if you are not available in the evening, you leave it blank. Or you can just put zero, zero there, like, Zero zero. So, but for me in this case, I will, I will be available in the evening. In the evening here is from twelve. This is in GMT, so it's twenty four hours from twelve, let's say twelve noon. To end time, let me see. Twenty is eight. Twenty twenty hour is eight o'clock to eight p.m. Let's say eight fifteen. Okay, let me see, 8.55 p.m. So in the evening session here, I will, I will be available from 12, p, uh, 12 noon to 8.55 p.m. What day? In my case, I can, say, I can decide to say I will be available for this time only on Monday. I can say I will be available for this time on Wednesday, uh, on Monday and Thursday. Or maybe in my case here for this demo, you click on all, if you select all here, Check all it to say from Monday to Wednesday, this is the time you'll be available, right? So in your own case, if the time you'll be available on Monday on on the different days, on the different weekdays are different, you enter different time slot for them. So for this one, you save it. If you want to add another one, you go back and add another one, but don't repeat the same time. If you repeat the same time, it will not save it. It will tell you that it already existed. Okay, so if on Monday, on Monday, the time you'll be available on Monday is different from the time you'll be available on Tuesday, you add them differently. Okay, so after you have done that, let, I will count this, I will save this. So after you have done that, it means you are done, right? So the other aspect here, yeah, so after you have done that, you are okay. So you save all of them. So you are you are okay with that so the next thing uh is that is the is the platform where doctor will be consul where you'll be consulting for patients a room where you join and you'll be able to talk to patients whether you open your video or you it's only audio right so um with the email you have provided i will send we, we some of to some of the doctors that are watching this we have sent you you have set your 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 room consultation room for some of you that have not set it that that you have not gotten your own we will set it for you you will receive it in your email and from there you will add it to your schedule so the the link will be added for you which we will also send to you and apart from that at the same time the link you will that is the link that you will be using so if you go to 